going on everyone it's me Jamerson and uh, today you know as you can probably already can tell that I'm drawing Jonathan Ma Majors if you haven't already guessed um, hopefully you know you just clicked on the video because you were mesmerized by my wonderful art which if true or not just say that it is because you know you know boost the, my confidence in my art <laughs> uh, but you don't have to do that but for real, I appreciate you guys for stopping by, and if you like more of these videos where I just draw and just talk about talk or whatever, whatever is on my mind for the video, uh, I would definitely um, just it definitely will let me know that you guys like it, uh, and let me know what you think of the drawing at the end of the video and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, so I'm drawing John's the Majors, and if you can already guess, it is based off of the ebony photos that uh, he took uh, back in February I know there was a lot of discussion <laughs> I'm saying that in quotations air quotes uh, uh, surrounding the nature of those um, photos and saying that you know you know it's really not really very masculine for him as a black man to take those photos and you know honestly around that time uh, I was annoyed um, by those comments because it's just I'm just one of those type of people was like you know if it's not hurting you why are you constantly um, why are you why are you saying stuff about it and you know it's been a while since then you know obviously calm down and I'm I'm not annoyed by it anymore and you know I, I totally get it um, you know why some people uh, mention that things and like it's just this you know it's just this stigma or like not stigma that's probably not a good word for it it's just this for for black people it's just this long history of being belt dealt like so many bad things being perceived as bad and always being our image being hurt that you know we have to assume the worst out of you know even things that the things that you know that doesn't really necessarily um there that's not really actually in actuality it's not really hurting us but like we just perceive it because we've been you know we've been hurt as a, like an, as a community and you know i i totally get that and you know honestly i hope whoever the people were that you know they're saying like these photos of jonathan majors were not masculine i hope they learned that you know and in fact it, it that's just because you don't think it's masculine doesn't mean he doesn't think it's masculine because i don't i don't believe that he just you know for me when i think it's <sighs> For me, like, you know, a person that just takes a photo where, like, you know, he's sitting in the chair with, like, no shirt on and, like, he's ripped to hell, I think that's pretty masculine in my opinion. Um, and honestly, I'm saying that word too many times. Um, I'm feeling weird saying that. Uh, it's weird to say it so many times. But, uh, yeah, it's just, I don't know, it just, he's felt very comfortable and I don't think that, you know, I don't think he would like take photos of himself where like he's not really showing him masculine and I don't, I don't even think he cares whether what he appears to other women he cares because uh, he's an actor and he's got to like she got to look good but you know like you know I you, you know what I'm trying to say like I'm not it's just trying to say there's he's not going to like do something that's not going to make him look good um so and you know on top of that you know on top of that, like this photo, and I know a lot of people don't like really watch anime, even though it's become more popular nowadays. Like the things that he's wearing, uh, it's based off of the, this villain called Doflamingo from One Piece, and that man is the most toxic. He's like toxic masculinity incarnate. That man is toxic. Like he's one of my favorite villains in the show, and he's pretty, pretty cool in regards to like, pretty cool as in like. I, know, I just like the way he acts towards other characters. Um, not to say that you know I am toxic like that, but he's a cool character. Um, but and he's definitely like, one of the most masculine um, male characters in the sh in the series. 
but uh yeah it's just i don't know but uh yeah just um look doflamingo up and you'll see what i'm saying look at like all the clips you'll see like how wow this dude is but i mean all, all i thought the photos were pretty cool shout outs to uh jonathan majors uh fashion designer um it is definitely i'm definitely happy to hear that there's a lot more anime influence in the world i know jojo jojo's bizarre adventure the, the rocky is a big fashion fan but i've done a lot of fashion um collaboration with gucci and uh whatnot uh, i know in Cree 3 um michael b jordan is a huge anime fan there's a lot of like anime influence uh in some of it like you can see nods here and there which is pretty cool to see and um yeah it's, i'm glad to see like anime is having more influence in the world um but you know i'm honestly i'm not i don't want to talk anymore about leo jonathan majors uh situation with, in regards to like the photos i just basically i initially started this drawing out uh in spite of the people who were who were saying that you know, the photos weren't masculine but after a while i stopped not caring about it so i'm just finished the drawing because you know i want to uh celebrate and show my support for john the majors because that man's doing his thing he's in he's gone he's on like a run lately like he's an ant-man uh actually he's like the main villain for like the new face for marvel like a pretty big thing like i don't know anything about kang but i don't know he's pretty the like, very the so the the times that I see him, he's pretty threatening, <laughs> honestly. Uh, Creed three, uh, I saw that the other day. He's super good in that. Um, very good. Um, very good. He did a very good job playing out Dame. Um, Lovecraft Country, office obviously everybody knows his work in that. Super good. Yeah, this this man. I uh, I can't wait to see more from him. Hope to can't wait to see like what what more Kang uh he will be um like how how much I don't know how, I want to see more threatening things with Kang at him as Kang so um I, can, I can't wait to see what Jonathan Majors do he's he's very talented please keep an eye, eye out on him I, I'd love to see that you know a black man thriving in the world so it's I'm very happy to see that um but yeah that's enough of uh praising john's the majors let's talk about the art art uh so the art the art um what can i say so obviously you just saw that i started off with a sketch um i mainly focused on the torso because i knew that was going to be like an issue i wanted to make sure that i got the, the twist right and show that you know i uh that his body is bending um, his torso is bending well, and I think I captured it really well, especially in the rendering. Um, I think the torso, I did a really good job with that, um, with, like, the rendering. Um, yeah, like, it's, I don't know, the torso is my, my favorite part. And honestly, I think that's what people would draw more towards, too, honestly. Because <coughs> I just, I think I did such a good job. I did a really good job with like this face as well. I was a little worried about that, um, but after a while, I believe I, I pretty much captured what he looks like, um, in my opinion. Uh, it's been a while since like I rendered an uh, actual real life person's face, so yeah. Um, that the toboggan was his hat was giving me a little bit of trouble because um, this I don't know I was it was hard to find pictures of him where like his head is like facing straight on um so yeah uh the pants the pants were too troubling honestly like you know i rendered them added some texture to make it look more like pants uh the little petals that you'll probably see that's attached to his pants they were a little annoying to do but you know i got the hang of it after a while um the most troublesome part about the whole piece is his pink coat fur. Uh, that was really annoying to work on. I, I mean, not annoying, but more tedious. And it's just making sure that um, you know, you're being detailed, knowing when to add detail, and knowing when to not add detail, not have a lot of detail in it. And so it's just I struggle with that a lot. 
trying to figure out, you know, what works and what doesn't work. Um, yeah. And I found, like, you know, and I, I think I found a pretty good balance with the fur. Um, yeah, I mean, that's honestly pretty it. Uh, all in all, I feel like I really enjoy this whole piece. Uh, my favorite part uh, about the whole thing is the torso, because I think I really did a really good job with it. Um, I think the torso is really great, and uh, that was honestly my favorite part, rendering it, uh, rendering it, drawing it, and everything. I think it's, I think I did a really good job. Um, the pose that you see here is based off of this drawing I saw on Pinterest. I'll be sure to um, like show an image of it so you guys can see. But it's a, a fan art of Go Flamingo. Uh, it's this typical pose where like he's just sitting on a chair and just like doing his little puppeteer thing because his powers allow him to do like puppeteering or something like that, strings or something like that. Um, that's Del Flamingo in a nutshell. And so I figured just since the the outfit was inspired by Del Flamingo, why not do you know a pose like a picture inspired by Del Flamingo? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean that's pretty much it in regards to the the drawing. I like I said, I really enjoyed making it. It was super fun to make. And um, well, let me know what you guys think of the drawing. Uh, what you like about it. Uh, uh, what you think I could improve on, what you don't like about it, I guess, uh, be, be gentle, be constructive, but, you know, don't be too harsh about it, um, if you're gonna give a criticism, make sure you, uh, make sure it's good, I guess, um, but yeah, that's about it, I have to say about the art, um, appreciate you guys for listening, I really wasn't expecting the video to be this long, I mean, me talking to be this long, but, uh, yeah, I really appreciate you guys listening. It, I really do appreciate it. If you like the video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff. I want to make sure that I make more art videos for you guys. I'm not going to be trying all the time because, you know, I have a life, I have a work, and you know, all that stuff. And I uh, try to draw whenever I can because I do love drawing and I would like to do this like a full-time thing. But, you know, I got to do it as a hobby now because I got stuff to take care of. But, uh, I mean, otherwise, you know, just, you know, if you like the stuff, just let me know in the comments or just like the video or subscribe. Uh, I stream on Twitch. I mainly game up there to relax and stream in the morning, 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, at twitch.tv slash jamerson underscore h. And, yeah, I've mainly been playing Resident Evil all month. And I think this month is going to be the month of Resident Evil 4. Because uh, I beat the, the original game, played the demo today, and you know, I'm going to post like the full of it on my gaming channel. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's that's all I have to say. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and listening to me talk. I hope you have a great rest of your day, whatever time, the day or night or it is for you. And I will see you all in the next video and enjoy the rest of the video. Bye.